That is the trailer for uh, No Time to Die, the brand new James Bond film, which is coming out April next year. Chatting to me about that is Mr. Van Connor. How you doing, mate? Uh, not bad. And you know what? I've just seen all the props in this movie. They're in they're in the Covent Garden Museum as part of the uh, Bond in Motion. What exhibit. for this? For this movie, they've got the that DB fire the, the Aston Martin with the machine gun headlights. Yeah, they've got that there. Uh, a bunch of his suits, a couple of cars, there's a, a smashed up Jeep and things from oh, No nice. Time to Die. Yeah, I didn't oh, realize. Very good. Very good. Uh, yeah. Bond, the Bond, so I was kind of ambivalent. Bonds is, is one of those things where you kind of live without it and it's yeah. kind of like, it's just, it's kind of like, oh yeah, Bond. And then when you see the trailer, it's like, oh yeah, I quite fancied that. I think I've nailed down why. Go on. I think because in this day and age, we are kind of spoilt for action franchises. Yeah. And a Bond movie nowadays, arguably, is indistinguishable, especially in the last four or five cases, uh, from, for instance, a Bond movie. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we have these things now. I mean, a Gerard Butler action movie, an average one of those, is arguably closer to what you or I, age-wise, would call a Bond movie. Yeah. Uh, in terms of tone and things like that, than what currently actually is a Bond movie. Yeah. Which is a lot more generic. It's a lot more gritty. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's... I, I'm a big fan of the Daniel Craig era of Bond. Mm. I think it's fantastic. I mean, apart from what's it, Quantum, Quantum Solace, Solace was, was, yeah. was, was dull, but no, I we can't. Spectre. I didn't. I think Spectre was great. I kind of. Yeah, you didn't. No, I didn't. You see, I just great. kind. Of, I kind of just like the world that, that in which he inhabits. I kind of, you know, and I enjoy kind of Ray Fiennes, kind of, you know, and and I, you know, Skyfall was 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 just utterly brilliant. There's a there's a logic that there's a problem I have with the logic of this universe, which is so much is done in the name of being cool now yeah. and grounded and gritty and cool that it, it does ruin the enjoyment for me and the trailer that trailer literally contains a bit that does it for me again right and it's that that moment in which he says to Leia Sadu's character everyone has secrets we just haven't got to yours yet and I'm thinking dude you met this chick working in a top secret and incredibly shady hospital on the top of a mountain yeah and also you knew she was the bad guy's daughter yeah, yeah. did you really think there were no, never going to be any skeletons in that closet so, so take take us through what we what we what we can learn from the no time to die trailer then what 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 occurred? Where are, where is James Bond in 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 his life? What's going on? Well, James Bond at this time in his life, it would appear, is retired for what I think would now be the fourth time. And yeah. uh, Daniel Craig's Bond seems to spend more time in retirement than he actually does being James Bond. I mean, the trailer again contains the line, "Where is 007?" Yeah. Because they never seemingly know where he is anymore. Yeah. And it, it is just Bond goes on prolonged holidays for a few years at yeah. the beginning of every one of these Why movies. Wouldn't he? Though? To be fair, they've been yeah. naked after Skyfall. You'd be like that. I'm going to take a few. Years off now. We're four movies on from him being a rookie agent. I've just saved the I've just saved the cover. You know, I've just saved yeah. I've just I've just saved the world again. Yeah. You know, I'm oh, just the the take, crown is safe I'm once take more. Take a year off. Yeah. yeah. Um, he's I think he's brought back into the action. He's retired in Jamaica, I believe. He's brought back into the action by Felix Leiter, yeah. who's still played by Jeffrey Wright in this continuity. Um, as he says in the trailer, you know, the, the only man I can trust with this. Um, brought back into some kind of mission that involves an eco-terrorist played by a heavily scarred Rami Malek. There's yeah. a rumor that he's Doctor No. Oh, okay. that, that is a rumour that's come out. And because of the way they play with the continuity in this, absolutely yeah. possible. We know yeah. Blofeld's back in it. Yeah. Uh, we know that Leia Sadu's uh, character of Mr. White's daughter, uh, Madeline Swan, from, from the last movie, she somehow factors into the mythology of this one. It, yeah. it is to do about her mysterious past. You know, the, the doctor who worked in the secret mountain uh, hospital and the bad guy's daughter, she has a mysterious past. Go figure. Right. Um, it, it is, and it's to do with that. And there's a new, uh, there's a new 007 who's played by Lashana Lynch. Yeah, because obviously 007 is just a code name. It's not a person. Yeah, yeah, that's it. But try telling Twitter that because I don't think they got that when it was announced. <laughs> I think oh, because it's a black woman. They, they thought, oh, it's a black woman playing James Bond. No, no, she's playing 007. Right, okay. 007 and James Bond are, are, are separate people. Yeah. One is a title, the other is a person. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's you know, God bless the nuance of Twitter. But, you know, it's two and a half minutes. It's, it's, it's not too long to wait, actually. It's only three or four months. By the time the award yeah. season's out, it's, it's... But, you know, I, it, it looked good. You know, it's Daniel Craig's last one, isn't it? It is. And there's something, there's something to say about it. It's, it's you know, it's after the sort of the awards season, because I think that is something of a tonic that we could do with with Bond, yeah. because it traditionally comes out around Christmas, yeah. and because it comes out at the height of awards season, and the Daniel Craig ones have been so heavily steeped in the melodrama and the grittiness, and there's not really any fun anymore in them with the whole cheeky chappy thing. I mean, as I've said on many occasions, he arguably arguably behaves more like a doorman now than the suave super spy. Yeah. Um, because of all that, it, it's, it has felt for a long time that Bond has stopped being a blockbuster, and he's become more of a sort of ponderous thinking man's action film, which is not really what you want for a Bond film. But this coming out after awards season does kind of take it, position it away from that. It does give it a spot where, okay, maybe we could now take it as more of a, as more of a flashy, flash and pan action movie, yeah. which would be nice. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm fully on board with that. Mm. Uh, 
So, I mean, Blofeld looks like it's only going to be there a tiny little bit. I it? think that looks like a cameo, doesn't it? It yeah. looks like a Hannibal Lecter style cameo because it's, it's interrogating him in what looks like a prison facility that's holding him. I think it is the Hannibal Lecter routine. Yeah. No, Which is, if you're going to get Christoph Waltz, there's, there's, there's worse things to do with him. No, precisely. Uh, I just had a message on my screen from uh, producer Sam. Yeah. Sam Fowler. It says here, I've seen Skyfall and that's it. Are you saying you've Jeez. only seen one James Bond film in your life? Yeah. Sam, I'm going to tell you this for nothing. Yeah. Goldeneye is mm -hmm. one of the best action movies ever made. Yeah, but I'm not really an action film fan. You but... must have played the N64 game when you were a kid. I've got the Goldeneye game, exactly. but I've never watched the film. W yeah. Watch the movie, Sean yeah. Bean versus James Bond. It's amazing. <laughs> Uh, you need to get on top of that, mate. You need to sort yeah. that out. I also need to watch E.T. There's quite a few well, big you know, ones. Yeah, there's watch. quite some big films. E.T. I was quite scared of as a kid, so... Well, mm. you know... There we go. Sam, I die a little bit inside every time you mention the ever-expanding list of films you haven't seen. Yeah, try them in music. <laughs> uh, what, what do you give this show out of ten? Uh, what do you think? You've, I give it a good solid eight. It's been good, good solid one. eight. Yeah. I think it's been good. I think it's been good. Is Ian Collins around? Is he popping in? Is he? I don't think he's popping in. No, he's no. not. No, okay, fine. I can go get him. I'll go grab him. Well, no, you don't have to. It's fine. But we can just big up next week. So next week... No, where are you going? Oh, so, no, listen, listen. Sam, we need to big up next week. Do we need anything from the listeners? Or is it all just in Just their hand? love. Just, just their, their love, love, their listenership. Their continued love and support, really. Because yes. next week is the end of year quiz for us. Well, it's the, it, it, we've got one more before the end of the year, but it's, it's the pre-Christmas quiz. So, so you're not here on the 21st. No, that's correct. But then the following week, you're back, yes? I'm back, back, back. Are you, yeah. you off Star Wars week? you sitting out Star Wars week? I'm, 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 I'm out of here, mate. Ah. Yeah, yeah, I'm not here. I am. Uh, I'm got to go and visit the folks. That's oh, that's well, how it works. Uh, but it's uh, so next week. How many have we got? Six. Mm -hmm. Six quiz contestants. Yeah. In the studio. Descending here. Food. Food. Costumes. Costumes. Eggnog. I, whatever that is. Bis <laughs> oh come on, you idiot! What's eggnog? Oh, what's the wow, what Sam. do you mean? What's eggnog? Sam. Jeez. Oh, Sammy boy. This is just a bit embarrassing, mate. That is okay. Uh, have we worked out how we're doing the quiz yet? And that is five minutes for me and you after the show. <laughs> oh, we're doing that now, are we? Yeah. <laughs> are we doing yes, we are. No time like the present, Jamie. Right. Okay, fine. We're trying to work that out, are we? Uh, lovely stuff. Okay, well, uh, Van, thank you very much. What films are you seeing this week? What's out this week? Uh, this next week, the big release this next week is going to be Jumanji, uh, The Next Level. Oh, I've already seen that. But same as well, but yeah. I think we're not allowed to talk about it no, maybe we're for not. a couple of days as well. Yeah. Um, there's also Citizen K, seems to be quite a heavy hitter this next week. Oh, okay. Um, and there's also uh, Pink Wall, which I hear really good things about. Oh, Sars, uh, that's right. Yeah, Tatiana yeah. Maslany, I think her name is. Yeah, and it's directed by a UK actor called whose name has escaped me. I want to say Tom, Tom Cullen. Cullen. That's Tom, it. Cullen. Tom Cullen. Yeah, yeah, lovely stuff. Uh, we'll chat about that next week. Listen, thanks very much, Van. Much appreciated. Anytime, Thank good you, sir. Sam. Thanks, Stuart. Thank you, Becky, with the good hair, John. Ian Collins is coming up next. You have been listening to Jim East on Eastworld on Talk Radio in association with the Times. Be well informed, and I will see you. Am I on Saturday? No, I'm not. I'm on Sunday. <laughs> Ian Collins is here. Quickly, shout hello, Ian. I'm doing it again. Hello, Ian. Hello, there he is. See you later. We are.